some magic when you speak. Use some magic when you read. Use some magic when you write. Breezy Reason will be our guide. Good morning, and how are you today? Hmm, I wonder why Rizzy Wizard is late today. Letter for Rosie Posy. What is this? A letter for me? I wonder who it is from. My goodness, Rizzy Wizard has been kidnapped. Long and short have taken Wizzy Wizard. Look at this. A list of instructions to follow if I want to save Wizzy. If you want Wizzy back, you have to do the following. Go to the place where you post letters. Be there at 10 o'clock. Look for an orange note outside the building. And bring a chocolate cake? A place where we post letters. That's the post office. Oh no, it's 9.45. I only have 15 minutes to get there. No time to waste. We must hurry. Now, where could the orange note be? There! I forgot! Where can I get a chocolate cake? Bakery! Of course, you buy cakes at a bakery! Look for Blooming Florist. Buy five roses at the florist. Now, the florist. I need to look for the florist. Can you please help me find the florist? Ah, there it is! Thank you very much! Excuse me? Hello? I would like to buy five orchids, please. Yes, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. I'm sorry. I want roses, not orchids. Okay, I have got five roses. How much should they cost? One ringgit is cost five ringgit. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Walk down to the end of this road and turn left at the furniture shop. Wizzy! I'm Rosie. so happy to see you! I'm so happy to see you too! Uh, Quick, Rosie, we must get away from here before long and short come! Oh, goodness! Where we post letters. Rosie Posey was asked to go to a place where we post letters. So Rosie went to the market, post office, hospital. You are right. Rosie went to the post office. Where can I get a chocolate cake? Where did Rosie buy the cake from? A bakery? A restaurant? A bookshop? Yes, 
Rosie bought the cake from a bakery. Excuse me? Hello. I would like to buy five orchids, please. Who sold Rosie the flowers? The postman? The tailor? The florist? Correct. The florist sold Rosie the flowers. Please see reason. Long and short kidnap you. Uh, Rosie, do you remember my old friends, uh, Push and Pull? Yes, the brothers who could never agree on anything. You see, both Push and Pull like me very much, and so do Long and Short. In fact, I think the whole world likes me. So? <laughs> so? To make a long story short, both groups were jealous of each other. Long and short took me away so that I would only be their friend and nobody else's. But Wizzy, that's being selfish. Friends are supposed to share. The more we get together, together, together The more we get together, the happier we'll be For your friends are my friends And, and my friends are your friends The more we get together, together, together The more we get together, the happier we'll be Rosie, I need to go and freshen up. Um, see you soon. Right. Rosie, thanks for saving me. Oh! What happened to my cake? Hi, Jerry! Jerry, did you do this? Cut the cake into different shapes? I see circles, rectangles and triangles. You did it on purpose? But why? It's for a story you're going to tell us from the Book of Spells? Come on, join us! Sweetland! Ah! The perfect place for sweets of all shapes and sizes to live in. Toffee's house is bright green and in the shape of a rectangle. Its blue windows and door are rectangles too. Its roof is a black triangle. This is Lollipop. Can you guess which is his house? Right! His is the round house. It is in the shape of a big orange circle. Its windows and doors are all circles. They are painted black. Its roof is brown. Candy's house is a purple triangle. Its triangular windows and door are painted pink. Its roof is blue. One day, Toffee invited Lollipop and Candy to a tea party. Do you know what Toffee baked for her tea party? Yes, she baked many different types of cookies and cakes. They looked delicious. Can you guess who was the first to arrive? It was Lollipop. Good evening, Lollipop. 
Please come in. Good evening, Toffee. Lollipop could not enter through Toffee's blue rectangular door. Toffee tried her best to pull him in. Lollipop still could not enter. Do you know why Lollipop could not go into Toffee's house? Just then, Candy arrived. Good evening, Lollipop. Good evening, Toffee. Good, Good evening, evening, Candy. Lollipop cannot get into my house. I just can't go in. Is it because I'm fat? Certainly not. You're not fat, Lollipop. Let me go in first. Toffee and I both can pull you in. But Candy could not get in either. No matter how hard she tried. Do you know why? Oh dear, this is not good. Both my guests cannot get in. I'm a terrible hostess. What shall I do now? How is it that you can come and go through the door? I think I know the reason. Come with me. Lollipop said with a bright smile as he walked over to his house. He opened his black circular door and went in. He then asked Toffee and Candy to come in as well. But both Candy and Toffee could not. The doors are playing tricks on us. No, no, Toffee. It has all to do with shapes. Toffee and Candy were puzzled. Look at us. Toffee, your shape is that of a rectangle. Candy, yours is a triangle. And mine's a circle. All our doors are in the same shape as our bodies. Yes, I see it now. That's why we could only enter our own houses. And I thought... The doors were playing tricks on you? All three friends laughed happily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. Toffee, what about your tea party? Don't worry, we can still have it. But where can we all fit in? In my garden. A garden tea party! Yay! Lollipop and Candy helped Toffee lay her cookies, cakes and tea out on the mat in the garden. And everyone enjoyed the party. Here are our three friends again. Toffee, Lollipop, and candy. Can you tell us what shape each of them is? Very good. Toffee is a rectangle. Lollipop is a circle. Candy is a triangle. Now let us see if you can pick the colours of their houses. Yes, Toffee's house is green. Lollipop's house is orange. Candy's house is purple. Where did they finally have the tea party? Lollipop's garden? Toffee's garden? Candy's garden? Yes, Toffee's garden. Please please. Invite it. Play it. Mm. Skip it. 
Wizzy, having pronunciation problems again? <laughs> uh, um, mm -hmm. Would you like to ask? Mrs. Read my lips? Okay, perhaps we should. Mm. Little box, merry and bright. Teach us to say all words right. Tell them once with all your might. They'll read my lips and get them right. Today, we will learn how to pronounce verbs in the past tense or words that end with an ED. Painted Painted Invited Invited Scolded Scolded These words are pronounced with a D sound at the end. Painted Invited Scolded Now, the following words also end with an ED, but they are pronounced differently. Bait Bait Walked Walked Looked Looked These words are pronounced with a T sound at the end. Bait Walked Looked Please be That's a tough one, Rosie. <laughs> there were many things I wanted to do. But when I was small, I wanted to be a lorry driver. Why did you want to be a lorry driver? I wanted to sit up in that machine and turn the big steering wheel. Oh, feeling so powerful. And the horn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Rosie? What did you want to be? I wanted to work in a market. Oh, at the market. In the market. I would have wanted to be. A happy fish seller selling the harvest of the sea. A vegetable seller selling cabbage, tomatoes, green peas. Maybe a strong butcher chopping meat all day long. Chicken seller having drumsticks and chicken wings. Also, maybe the grocer selling all kinds of wonderful things. Oh, at the market, in the market, can you see there are 
are so many occupations just for me. Very good, Rosie. Very good. If your mother wants to buy meat, who will she go to? A fish seller, a butcher, a grocer. You are right. She will go to a butcher. Who sells chicken? A grocer, a fish seller, a chicken seller. Yes, a chicken seller sells chicken. If you need to buy toothpaste, you would go to a grocer, vegetable seller, fruit seller. Correct again. You will go to a grocer. Did you know that a fish seller is also known as a fishmonger? A chicken seller is also known as a poulterer, and a fruit seller is also known as a fruiterer. It's time to go, Rosie. Once again, thanks for helping me. Oh, you're welcome, Wizzy. That's what friends are for. <laughs> we have to go now, but join us again in the next episode. Now it's time for us to part. Keep the magic in your heart. Use it as wisely as you can Till we meet you once again